Are you ready? This is my first Bright Bits episode. Take one. So, one of the reasons why I wanted to get into real estate was to help people with their houses. Not just necessarily selling or buying, but answering questions about maybe what they should do to put equity into their homes or helping people get into investments and anything real estate. So, I'm about to start this little series that I'm gonna call Bright Bits, with, which is just little tidbits of info that may help you in your current home or may help you know what to look for in a future home and uh, may also provide great uh, resources for you along the way. So join me in this little Bright Bits episode. Take two, slight distraction. The phone guy just stopped by, asked if I was doing a production in here and told me that he didn't think that I would have a problem, but I, that, that was a problem in and of itself. I think I'm on take five now. Oh, these videos are so much harder than they actually appear, which I'm going to be honest, I am not comfortable in front of the camera here. This is something that is awkward for me. I'm usually behind the camera and I'm getting an audience as I'm filming. Oh, the distractions of being in an office. This is my office here at Remax Advantage Plus in Egan where I joined in January and I am loving this job here. I, I've been at a few different brokerages and I finally feel like I'm home. So yeah, Bright Birch Group, Remax Advantage Plus, here with your Bright Bits for the week. This week I wanted to talk to you a little bit about putting equity into your home. And one of the key questions I get asked by sellers is what should we do with our house? We're, we think we wanna sell, we were thinking about putting some work into our home, what should we do with it? I have a few answers for that. The answer is never simple because it depends on your house, it depends on how quickly you wanna sell, and it depends on what actually needs to be done in your home. My first question to you would be, when are you thinking you wanna sell? The market right now is a seller's market, it's hot. There's no inventory out there, there's very little inventory. So depending on where you're at, uh, what neighborhood you're in, and uh, what price point your home is at, I may suggest to you that I come out, I do a free consultation with you in your home, I take a look at what you have in your home, and maybe we make a game plan for what needs to be done, what doesn't need to be done, and what you could get for your home in its current state before you put a whole lot of money into it. There are a couple different things that people can do to greatly improve the value of a home. Obviously, everybody always talks about kitchens and bathrooms. That being said, there are some things that you can do with those kitchens and bathrooms that may not necessarily cost as much money, but have just as great of an impact to sell your home. Personally, I don't think that everybody always needs to rip everything out of their kitchen, rip out all the old cabinetry, rip out all the old countertops. There are so many new ways to update your kitchens that you can get really creative with it. But one of the number one things that I would recommend is potentially, if you have an older kitchen with older cabinetry, I would recommend having a consultation with a painting expert or somebody that can come out and laminate or a, laminate, enamel, your cabinetry, uh, doors, moldings, crown work, it's amazing what you can do with the existing woodwork that's in your home just to give it an updated feel. Lighter colors, uh, painting, painting dark rooms a more neutral, lighter gray. In fact, one of my girlfriends in my office here and I, she does some painting and she and I were talking about all of our new preferred Sherwin-Williams uh, neutral paint colors because uh, we're nerdy like that. If you're looking for a great recommendation on a painter who can come in and give a house a whole new facelift, walls, exterior of the home, inside cabinetry, in the bathroom's cabinetry, I mean, you name it, this guy can do it. Doors, banisters, everything. I know because I have had him in my own home. I've seen him do it in many other people's homes and I love recommending him. His name is Jade and he has 
Premium Painting, and it's a local company. I love supporting local companies, and man, if I were gonna get my house repainted, he is who I would use. And really, honestly, to answer kind of the question that I first started with, with this blog, I think paint, number one, and maybe updating that woodwork, number two, are the first things that major things that I would recommend doing at home beyond staging and walking through and, and kind of figuring out the best way to prep your house for sale. So that's my bright bit for the day. Man, why do I feel so uncomfortable in front of the camera? This is not my thing. This, this is the big thing last week at that Remax convention I went to, for any of you who were following what I was up to last week. All of the various convention classes, if you will, that I went to, they all recommend do video, do video. Video is a big thing. Here I am, I have a video company that I'm getting away from now, but I've had a video company, I have a photography company, and I, ugh, oh, being in front of the camera. Just not my jam, not my thing. I gotta get used to this. Also, if you have a business that you'd like to have featured in these little bright bits, or you know of a business that you think should be fe featured, comment below, and I will check them out, check you out, check you out. Who says that? I will check these businesses out. I'm all about supporting local business. So message me, text me, whatever. Let me know who you think should be featured in the next little bright bits. And uh, we'll see you when I do the next one or not. Maybe I'll interview somebody else next time. What kind of stuff do you guys want to see in these videos? Tell me. I'd love to hear it message below. Do you like this video? Is it corny? Of course it's corny. It's my video. Anything I touch is corny. Right? I have a pretty good view of a fire hydrant from my office. Hey, speaking of my office, I'm in Egan. I think I told you that already, but if you ever want to stop by, come visit. I'm usually here. Or not. I'm usually always showing houses. Who am I talking about? But I do have a pretty cool office. It's fun. I like coming here. And as always, if you know anyone looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, have them call me. Bright Birch Group, Noelle Nielsen, The Naturally Smart Choice with Remax Advantage Plus. Make it a good one. Two at the door, then you have